Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Blockception server. We are here in the storage room, actually in one of the branching hallways. I'm not I believe I've showed all the roof and everything being done. I've still got the temporary shutters set up over here. And mob system is still running as always. Let's see how much we get. Not bad. Okay. So first I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. I've gotten a couple farms hooked up over here. I need to get some bone meal. Oh, I've got it. So I've got on the left my wheat farm design. If you want to see how to build this, I will link the tutorial in the description. I'm not going to bother going over it too much. But essentially how it works without bone meal. You run down planting the seeds. This pressure plate is just for looks to make it look more symmetrical. Then you run back. And then you step on this and the wheat gets harvested. Here it just destroys the seeds, but normally you'd get eight wheat every time. Although it is a little bit sketchy on how you do it. This is just a basic cocoa bean farm. See? And because I tried that same design as the wheat thing and I just couldn't get it to work properly. See, if you try to run down like this, it's pretty much impossible to bone meal them all. So I just went with a basic little design here. Basically gives the cocoa beans right to you. Nothing complex or anything, just... Basic piston wall, but it's it really works for me. I don't see what else. I don't really need that many cocoa beans, if any. So I figured I'd just make this little one to make the hallway look a little symmetrical here. And then we'll be working on the cow farm here probably later today. Uh, we're going to have to go a little bit forward to avoid that. And I would like to get to the village, but that is not a project for today. I want to redo this whole ground here because it's not going to be grass. What the heck is going on? Oh god, I think Fraps is screwing with my mouse. I'll be right back. Okay, that turning off Fraps seems to have solved the problem, kind of, so good enough for now. Anyway, it's just this hallway that I've been working on. I haven't gotten much else done. Uh, but the thing is, in a minute, we're actually going to be updating to the uh, one point, or the new 1.4 snapshot, which is uh, 12W34B. And that will be awesome, because we get mobs in the nether and all that. So, Pengers is on that at the moment, setting everything up. Because I didn't want to do it, really. <laughs> it's quite, it's a little bit of work, but he's backing everything up right now. And then we're going to go over. So, we'll probably be playing with a lot of those features today, the new features. Which, some of them are really helpful. We're probably going to go get some boosh rooms for the base today. And bring them back here and use those instead of cows for the farms. I'll probably make a little community mushroom farm in the hub, also in case anybody else just wants to bring them back down their hub tunnel. So hopefully that will be helpful for everyone. But yeah, I just want to do this quick update here. Uh, next thing I'm probably going to do is start digging out the tunnel for the cow farm here while I'm waiting for the snapshot. And probably just build the whole cow farm. It's just going to be my survival practical one, so if you want to see how I build that, you can also look at that tutorial. So, yeah, I'll be back whenever I decide to come back. The cow farm will most likely be finished, or we'll be on the snapshot. One way or another, I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, just logging onto the server, and we are on the snapshot. Let's see, if, yep, it's up in the left corner. Jesus Christ lag. I uh, hope when that's just logging in stuff. Grab me some carrots. Uh, I need to go to do not disturb. Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, aside from that, progress on the cow farm. I was just starting to build it. Um, so not really much else there. I'm not going to finish the cow farm likely right now, just because I want to go play around with the snapshot a bit. So I'll get back with you when I'm doing something interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to do was make some item frames. So let's just take this. And there we go, some frames. We're going to need a lot of wood. But yeah, I want to change all of these signs to frames eventually. Because they won't disappear on me, which will be awesome. So yeah, just wanted to show that really quick, and I will see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I used up all of my frames here, as you can see. I'll run around and 
they actually don't render until you get pretty close to them, which is kind of annoying, but overall I like this better. It makes it a lot simpler to see what you're grabbing all the way around. Still need to get a few blocks, and I need to get more leather and frames, which is why I'm doing the cow farm. But overall, I like the frames more than the signs, because you can see them from greater distance still. You couldn't really read a sign from their full render anyway. But yeah, that's very cool. I like that feature a lot. Uh, so I actually found out that I guess Pengers is just going to go over to uh, A7's place right now, and he's going to get a bunch of mushrooms and then bring them back to the hub. So I'll probably just grab some from him then. So no need to go over to a mushroom island, which is nice. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I think, I don't know, I might see if I can grab some villagers from someone. Just because I would like to get some villagers over to the ravine here. But I don't know, I might not do that quite yet. Just because I still need to wait a little bit. I don't know, I'll look over some of the other features and I'll decide on something else to try out. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to try out here, with our, uh, they added corner stairs, so, yeah, that's an improvement, I think, I like that. I'm just going to rework this a little bit. If I just put that there, let's see how that looks compared to the other way. Oh yeah, that's much better, it looks a lot cleaner. I also want to, uh, do it to the top up there, if you can see, right up here. There, that should be a corner stair, probably. Yeah, that's a huge improvement. I like that. Now you can make, like, pyramid shapes, which is really cool. So that's a nice little add-on there. Always appreciate little stuff like that. That makes decorating a lot easier. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that on all four corners, and I'll be back. Ah, uh, yes, one thing I forgot to announce, actually. Uh, Evan has a potato, so let's see if he's generous and lets people have some or if he's going to be all greedy and try to sell it to people for tons but yeah hopefully he just hands it out sort of I don't really see why you would make such a big deal about the potato yeah I really want carrots actually too because if I get carrots I can make invisibility and night vision so yeah just a little update there Evan has a potato and hopefully somebody will get carrots soon and we can grow them Alright guys, so we are at Evan's house, he got a potato, so we're here to pick one up from him. Also, that's a fancy building there, very fancy. Okay, uh, where is Evan? Okay. Okay, so we've got potatoes. I'll go back and grow some of my own. Alright, so I'm going to head back over to the hub, give Feudal his potatoes, and possibly pick up some mushrooms, because Pengers is bringing those back right now. Okay, so Pengers has brought the mushrooms, but they seem to be having issues. Um... Ah, they're escaping. Crap. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Yeah, that, that definitely isn't me that steals Teddy's Scarecrow heads or anything. <laughs> okay, so I guess he's bringing the Mushrooms into his tunnel. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some mushrooms, and I'll get back with you, and I'm taking some mushrooms back to my place. Okay, guys, so I have a mushroom back at my base now. I set up a little base thing in the nether that has some mushrooms in it. Uh, and also, I'm pretty sure Richmond just quit the server. I'm not really sure what happened there. Let me see if I can find it. Um... 
Goodbye, everyone. I have had a good time. Thanks for being such a cool group. I'll leave them whitelisted, but not really sure what's happening there. Oh, okay, that's... Yeah, he might have gotten banned off BC or something, but... Yeah, I'll leave him whitelisted for at least a few months before I consider removing him or anything. Alright, uh, I want to put this mushroom somewhere for now, so if he could respond to my wheat, that'd be helpful. Uh, I'm just going to box him in, stick into the wall a little bit here. And then I'm going to go get a cow and bring it in here as well. Just so I can breed the cow with the mushroom, and then I'll get another mushroom. And from there I'll kill off the cows and I'll have a pure, purely mushroom farm. Just because I want to be able to have them, in case I want to put in like mushroom stew stations and things. Okay, and get in the whole mushroom. Alright. Okay, so we have a mushroom. Yes. Uh, one other thing I wanted to test on footage here is I want to test if my wheat farm works with potatoes. Uh, let's see here. So I believe you just plant these. And bone meal, and then... Are these not killed by lighters? It just... Dang, light doesn't kill potatoes, apparently. Alright, well, I'll have to make a separate farm for potatoes, I guess. That's unfortunate. Alright, so that was all I really wanted to test. I guess I could just grow potatoes here and bone meal them when I want them. It's just a little bit slower, because I have to manually harvest it. So yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to test, and I will be back. Okay guys, so here's the first breeding attempt. Let's try to get a mushroom. I know they do breed together. Come on. Come on. Breed, you idiots. I'm sure they breed. I'm really... I'm pretty positive that these things can breed. Come on. Hmm. Not sure why that's happening exactly. Oh wait, is it working now? Um, let's try it now. Oh god, where are they now? You're gonna breed now, you're gonna cooperate. Ah, okay, so apparently they are not breeding. Alright, well, I guess I'll go get another mushroom then. I'll be back. Okay, I've returned to retrieve another mooshroom. Let's just see if I can get this baby here to come with me. I think he might be attached to a parent in there or something. Yeah, I think he is. That's probably my problem. I'm going to breed these guys and get another mooshroom in here. And then I'll just take one of the adults, I guess. I'll see what I can do. Now they follow. God. Alright, well, I'll try to get one out of here if possible. Come on. I only want one. Come on. You can get up the ladder. I know you can do it. Come on. Piece of crap. Alright, well, I'm just going to transport these guys and I'll be back. Okay, so I've transported the mushrooms, and they are in here now. I've got three of them, and I'll be breeding those, and I'll be using those for my cow farm instead of regular cows. And I already tested this with uh, potatoes, but I also want to test it with carrots just to make sure. Um, 
Hmm. I don't think... Yeah, it's flickering. Okay, so you can't do it with carrots either. That's unfortunate. But I do want to get a good amount of carrots either way. I might need to have a farm specifically for carrots and potatoes then. That uses pistons and is a little bit slower. Actually, one thing I could do is have a configuration option on this so I could change it between pistons and lights. Yeah, that would work. I might try that out. But yeah, overall, I like the new plants and everything. So far, I'm really liking the snapshot. Yeah, there we go. 16 carrots. And we can make golden carrots with that. And we can make, like, invisibility. Lots of cool stuff. So next time, we're definitely going to do the brewing room because I want to get a lot of invisibility and night vision. Night vision will be awesome for stuff like caving on camera. Things like that. I don't really need to worry about light as much while I'm doing it just because of the night vision. And also you can see underwater with it, which is cool. Very cool. But yeah, overall, really enjoying the update. I don't know. Uh, not much else I can really try here. I might set up like a temporary brewing setup over here or something just to try out some of the new potions. And after that, I'll probably call it a day on this LP. I just wanted to kind of test some stuff out on the new snapshot so yeah I'll see you in a bit hey guys I would just like to show you this really quick uh, I double checked this after Evan told me that they do die in the dark and look yeah it does work I don't know why it wasn't before but yeah it works perfectly that's good I thought I was gonna have to make a second farm but I don't now so that's cool <laughs> suffocation and portals still in the game yeah, so I've been gone for a while, but I just got back, and I'm going to start working on actually getting this cow farm up and running. Uh, also, I will probably set up a little brewing station over there and start brewing some potions up. Like, some invisibility and night vision mainly. I'd like to use the night vision a lot. It's really, really helpful for video stuff. Also, we've been having an issue where apparently a lot of people are getting lag, so I need to look into that. Not really sure why the lag would suddenly show up, but whatever. I'll work on it. And I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so we've made a good amount of progress on the cow farm here since the last update. Oh, he's there. Uh, Daniel is in here with an invisibility potion somewhere, so I'm looking out for him. I can see where he is based on where these mushrooms are running. Let's see if I can get him. right around here I'm sure of it I don't want to kill my mushrooms oh there we go yeah he was really ready <laughs> for a fight there it looks like I'm keeping this invisibility potion uh, we can have the rest of this crap back um, get rid of that, don't want that, don't really need that, yeah, I just want this one potion, that's all, alright, well, that was, uh, that was kind of pointless, he just <laughs> randomly showed up and attacked me with a fire sword, I think, and <laughs> then after that, I kind of hunted him down, so, anyway, Oh, I meant to go over there, but I'm going to need to log out momentarily now because I don't want his stuff to despawn. But yeah, this is the cow farm. You can see the dispensers in the back. If you don't know how it works, just go watch the other video, the tutorial. This one is going to control those dispensers, which will toggle the water on and off. And right here, I've got a piston door. You can walk in this way, and then to leave, there's actually a button hidden down here that you can come out of. So that's how it all works. Uh, I'm going to put water in the dispensers and breed some more mushrooms, and I'll be back with you shortly. Alright guys, so I've finished up hooking up most of the cow farm here. Added this door here so I could have this edge for the minecart to bounce. So how this is going to work is when you push this button, it also... Did that not do anything? There we go. It'll also send out this minecart so we can ride back and forth and kill our mushrooms. And when we're done, we can just break this minecart. 
and push this again, and throw our mine our mine cart back in. So that way we don't have a mine cart always going back and forth here that we have to deal with. We can just pop it out right when we need it. By the way, carrots are the new bread. So yeah, I need to consume this bread, but afterwards I will probably never make bread again. I'll either use wheat for mushrooms, or I'll just stockpile it because I'll probably be eating carrots otherwise. And let's plant some cocoa beans, because I haven't been doing that. I went over to Daniel's for a little bit, and we were brewing some potions and messing around with the invisibility. Yeah, that was fun. That was stupid to uh, harvest that. But yeah, we were messing around with the invisibility, just kind of trying to find each other and kill each other, which was a very fun time. I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for something to do, you're just screwing around. But anyway, I'm just going to sit around for a while, breed these guys every once in a while, and just kind of do some stuff that doesn't really need to be shown on camera. And I will be back with you when we're ready to do our first harvest of this farm. Alright guys, so we're not quite full here, but I'm just going to do a harvest right now. I actually had to kill a couple mushrooms that had escaped. Uh, I think I need to figure out another system to get in here. I might switch over to something else because I might actually just use pearls to get in or something because a couple of them ran out of the piston door and then one of them just sat there on that pressure plate and refused to move and let out a ton of them but anyway we're gonna try out a uh, harvest here just gonna ride in the mine cart and they're all gonna push up and let's kill some mushrooms I don't want to kill too many off because I still want some to breed Alright, let's leave it at that, because I still want to have some left. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah, 25 leather, 37 beef. This is much better. And that 37 beef is a very... That's a long time. You can last a long time on that much beef. So, yeah, this cow farm is pretty successful, I'd say. I would just... I need to breed these guys up again now which is kind of annoying, but yeah, overall, I like the cow farm. Seems pretty good to me. Again, I do want to do something about getting in eventually, or at least set up some kind of, I might at least hook this up to a button, that way if a cow gets out, it can't let all of them out, because that got really annoying. That or I may just have some kind of way to like, so when the door opens, water pushes them away or something. But yeah, I'll figure out some kind of system. So I'm going to go cook up this beef, and we now have a good food source. So I will see you later. Okay, guys. Uh, I just came by the Parthenon, because I was going to dig my minecart tunnel. And I found this sign from Rich. Ben, thanks so much for letting me play on the server. I had a great time and appreciate it. I think, though, it's time I moved on. So, this is goodbye. So, I suppose that confirms the, uh... Yeah, I suppose that confirms that he is done with the server. Uh, that's unfortunate, I guess. Not really sure what, why he suddenly decided to leave, but... I guess there's not really much I can do about it at this point. So, yeah. Um, uh, I don't even really know what to say here. There's not really much I can say. But anyway, we are here at the minecart station, and we're finally going to hook something up to it. So, I'm just going to start digging a tunnel, or at least getting it roughed out a little bit. And I'll be back with you in a little bit. Um, on a more positive note, I just found all of this nice stuff over here at the uh, minecart station. I completely forgot about it. Like, I got a stack of TNT that I had left here, some mycelium, sticky pistons, some lapis, this axe that I've been looking for forever. I need to get that and use that, because I've been harvesting wood normally. Brewing stand, map 2, what's this? Uh, I think... No, this is just my area again. Yeah. So that's my fully filled out map. That's where that was. I filled out a brand new one, and there it is. Alright. So I just wanted to show that really quick. I'm going to get digging on the tunnel now.
And yet another thing, uh, for some reason this ender pearl dispenser doesn't work quite like it's supposed to. It, for some reason, only shoots two. And then when you step off, it shoots another one. I have no clue why. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm really wondering why that is. Alright, I'm gonna re-log really quick for him. Alright, we're back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really wondering why this is exactly that this doesn't work now. I don't see why it wouldn't. Here, let's see. I'm gonna try replacing this with a wooden pressure plate and then throw an item on it so I can see what's going on. Uh, I need a pickaxe. Here, take a furnace. Let's see what's going on back here. Um, it's just not making a clock for some reason. Hmm. It's odd. Why is it not making a clock? Alright, let's try this again. Oh. Let's see if we can get an item up there. So strange. Here, I'm going to mess with this a little more and see if I can figure something out. Alright guys, so I spent a while trying to figure out what was wrong with that. And I ended up just doing a nice simple design here. Uh, yeah, not really sure. I mean, this design definitely works. The only thing is that... I don't know, it's unstable, I'd say, because the clocks have a good chance of just stopping. But I just have this hooked up to uh, a power source. And if you don't know this, a dispenser, when it takes direct power, can be activated by a block update. So as soon as we step on this, it's firing ender pearls fast. And yeah, that's a pretty nice little feature lets you pretty easily control when dispensers are going to fire and when they're not. But yeah, that was my little temporary fix for it. I'll probably do something different in the future when we do some more work on this. But anyway, I got very sidetracked with that, and I still want to dig that tunnel, hopefully tonight. So I'm going to get working on that, but we'll see how far I get. Okay, guys, so... I have dug the entire tunnel all the way from the minecart station all the way down there over to storage going this way. So if we run all the way down here, I'll use some pearls so you don't have to watch me sprint the whole thing. Pearls speed things up so much. Yeah, this is storage. So what's going to happen is we're going to come in right here and we're going to hit this, we're going to hit a stop right here. And then we're going to hit a detector rail as well, like right around here. So right as we're coming in, the shutters are going to start. Unfortunately, the chests don't render properly from over here. You can see, like here, you only see the jack-o'-lanterns, which is strange, but once you get here, you can see the chests. I don't know why that is, that must be a lag reducing thing or something. But yeah, we'll come in for a stop right here, and then there will be a path running down. I'll finish the path up here. And that's all this tunnel will be for, is just the minecart entrance to here. And then that will be the first station of the minecart, or that will be the first set of the minecart station. So I'm probably going to get to work laying the rail. However, I'm going to end the video here since it's such... It's most likely already a very long video, just I've gotten a lot done, so I'm assuming it's a long video. If not, I'll be kind of surprised. But yeah, it seems like it's going to be running pretty long here. So I'm just going to cut it off right here, and until next time, see ya.